Van D, a dynamic leader with decades of experience building companies and crushing sales. He's been there and done that. Ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Van D. Inspiring audiences across the country to do it too. Here's Van. Well, hello everybody and welcome to the Van D podcast. I recognize how valuable your time is, so I don't take this for granted. Time is all we have. So today, I want to talk to you about fear and how fear will do nothing for you. So let's just replace fear with boldness. I want you to replace the word fear with boldness. So let me ask you, do you feel like something is holding you back from doing what you really want to do? If so, just know you're not alone. But the great thing is, is there's something that we can do about it. Let me tell you, when I entered, when I entered the real estate business at age 23, I was super nervous about being on straight commission, mostly because I needed to feed myself. I didn't come from a family that I could pick up the phone and say, hey, I'm having a rough month. Can you send me a couple bucks? So I was nervous about feeding myself and paying my bills. So I waited tables part time. And I really enjoyed waiting tables. Some of the best people I met were my fellow co-workers. I knew what I wanted to do, but fear was holding me back. So at that point, I made one of the most important decisions of my entire 41 year career. I decided to be bold. I told myself, I actually said out loud, I am going to be bold. I am not going to be scared of being on straight commission. I'm going to use that unproductive energy of fear to be bold and carry out my mission. You know, Dale Carnegie said, inaction breeds doubt and fear. Action brings confidence and courage. If you want to conquer fear, do not sit home and think about it. Go out and get busy. Basically, Make a decision, which is what I did. So my mission was, and it still is after 41 years, to be great at whatever I do, especially when it involves real estate, which is my passion, my career, and it's been my livelihood for 41 years. So I still today wake up every morning And this is a choice. I wake up every morning with the attitude that nothing is going to stop me from reaching my goals. Are there going to be challenges? Absolutely. But instead of worrying about challenges that might lie ahead, I overcome my fear by having a positive attitude to being confident in myself And keep moving. I overcame my fear because I kept moving. And I still do that today. I'm not telling you this to impress you. Making statements like, whatever I do, I want to be great at it. I'm telling you to impress upon you that each of us can make a commitment to be bold. You can actually eliminate fear just by believing in yourself. Stepping out of your comfort zone and giving boldness a chance. Think about it. What do we have to lose by being bold? Nothing. One of the best ways to fight fear is to face it head on. Of course, there's there's a lot of exceptions. So, for example... I would never consider jumping out of a plane. I know that people that do say it's liberating and they overcame fear of heights or whatever. I don't fear jumping out of a plane because I'll never do it. (laughs) It doesn't do anything for me. 
Plus, it scares the hell out of me. But if I really wanted to jump out of a plane and fear was the only thing holding me back from doing it, that would be a different story. So my point is, if there's something that you want to accomplish and you know that it will make you happy and it's going to make your life better, then you need to find a way to overcome your fear of doing it. So let's say you identify a fear of doing something that you know will make your life better. It doesn't have to be accomplished overnight. Take baby steps, as baby steps as you possibly need. My recommendation will always be to start slowly instead of thinking you need to accomplish everything overnight. You take your time, like I said, but you got to keep moving towards it. Robert Frost said it best in five words. Freedom lies in being bold. I'm going to repeat that. Freedom lies in being bold. You know what that speaks to me? Free from fear. Free from living a life I don't want to live. Free from negativity. Be bold. If you have to eliminate being around certain people, and you know that it, it's fearful because they've been around you forever, but they're holding you back from where you want to go. Be bold. Make it happen. I also really agree with Mike Yoconelli's description of being bold. Listen to this. Mike says, boldness doesn't mean rude, obnoxious, loud, or disrespectful. Being bold is being firm, sure, confident, fearless, daring, strong, resilient, and not easily intimidated. It means you're willing to go where you've never been. It means you're willing to try what you've never tried and willing to trust what you've never trusted. Being bold is quiet, not noisy. I love this statement. It means you're willing to go where you've never been, you've never been, willing to try what you've never tried, and willing to trust what you've never trusted. Man alive. Isn't that what fear is? Being bold will overcome that. I've met a lot of people, entrepreneurs, that confuse boldness with acting like they're better than everyone else. That's not being bold. That's being cocky. That's not my definition of being bold, thinking you're better than everybody else. People who are bold are bold because of action. People that are bold do what they say. They don't just talk a big game. They talk the talk and they walk the walk. And once again, not to impress you, but that's how I'm described by a lot of people. Van does what he says he's going to do. I love having that reputation. People who are bold are people that are drinking the water that they're pouring out. They're passionate and they're persistent. I've had thousands of people in my midst in the real estate industry that have looked to me for guidance and direction. I don't preach to them about anything that I haven't experienced myself. After 41 years, I'm still on the streets helping people buy and sell houses. And the people that work at Prime Realty, my real estate firm, I believe they admire that because they know that I'm drinking the water of what I'm dishing out. And I'm helping them become everything they want to be, and I'm leading by example. To me, that's the de definition of bold. I'm really confident that if you decide to be bold and reach out for something that might be great for your life, then your boldness, what you've decided and made a decision to do, will inspire, motivate, and empower everyone in your sphere 
to make their own lives better. People will gravitate to you when they see how you're changing your life by eliminating fear and becoming bold, they will gravitate to you. My favorite type of people who are bold are the ones who want to lift up everybody around them and take them along for the ride and give them wings to do whatever they're trying to accomplish. That's a bold person. Those are my favorite bold people. So what bold, being bold, and eliminating fear means to me? As a leader, it means I'm transparent with the people I work with. I recognize them when they do something great. And I really pour it on. Congratulations, I'm proud of you, way to go. I knew you had the ability to accomplish this. And on the other hand, being bold... I am willing to give them constructive suggestions that will help them become better. I have to be that person to be of value to humans around me. Constructive suggestions, that's being bold. Nobody needs to have yes people around them. We don't grow when people around us agree with everything we do. I don't. I want people in my world. The leadership team I have at Prime Realty is not afraid to tell me how I can be better. And I love that because that makes me grow. That helps me grow. Another thing that being bold means to me is if I can see that someone is not being treated properly, instead of standing back in the shadows and letting it happen, I want to make sure to show them I care about them and that they matter to me. If somebody's been treated poorly and I'm aware of it, it's important to me to have conversation with them and let them know how important they are and how much they matter. I think that's being bold because you don't have to do that. We don't have to step up and go make people feel like they matter. I think that's a part of being bold. Another thing, what bold means to me is I don't fear change. I believe that those of us who are trying to be the best version of ourselves cannot fear making changes that will benefit us in our personal lives, in our careers, in our careers. I'm telling you, I've been evolving my whole life. My whole life. I mean, high school and my 20s, I was a wild ass. I was the guy that everybody was, you know, wanted around because I'm going to drink more than the rest of them. I'm going to be silly. I'm going to do crazy stuff. And then as I got older, that stuff wasn't important to me. And then as I got even older, it definitely wasn't important to me. But guess what? It still is very important to my friends 40 years ago. So it's not unusual for them to see me today and go, I remember you back when you were a big party and you were this and that. And like, it's a bad thing that I've evolved. I think life would be pretty dang boring if we stayed the same people our entire lives. Not me. I want to change and get better and evolve every day. I think, I think that makes us enjoy life more. I'm telling you, I know so many people that have never changed anything for the better in their entire lives. They're still my friends. I still love them. I'd still do anything for them. But I think that would be a boring, boring life. If I have the opportunity to change that's going to make my life better and the people around me, why wouldn't I? I also think being bold is... I let people know how I feel, and I'm forthcoming. If I need to say something, I will. I'll say it. I'm very transparent. And I think being bold, you have to be that way. I'm not afraid to tell one of my buddies I love him. I probably wouldn't have been that guy 30 years ago, but like I said, we evolve. If we don't tell people how we feel about them, how are they going to know? And what if you die tomorrow? They'll never know. If somebody's done something wonderful for 
wonderful to you or your family or for your kids, tell them. Don't be afraid to be bold. It's likewise in the opposite. If somebody's done something negative to you that you're unhappy with, don't just tell other people how rotten they are. Confront them. Be transparent. I don't like the way you treat me. That's how we learn. That's how we grow. That's part of being bold. So my message here is choosing boldness will be liberating for you and those around you. Now, now, more than ever, people need inspiration. They need us to be bold. They need us to believe in them. And they need us to give them a little boost to help them do what they've always wanted to do. And there's no better way than to lead by example. Someone says, man, Van, that's really cool that you've written five books. I could never do that. Really? Yes, you can. And let me tell you how to get started. If you knew how many people have said to me, I've always wanted to write a book, but I don't know how. The next thing out of my mouth is, let me show you. So what I'm saying to you right now is I'm leading by example. And I let everybody know. When I do speaking, I don't care if it's a Fortune 500 company or a small company. I let everybody know that if I can do it, you can do it. All I did is make a decision. I'm making decisions every day to be bold. I'm going to slide into heaven exhausted because I utilized all my God-given talent while I was here and I didn't waste it. What value do you have by wasting what your talents are that you have inside of you? There's no value to that. Bring them out. You're not just going to benefit you. You're going to benefit everybody around you. Life is not a dress rehearsal. This is the real deal, man. Let's go. Change your life. Wake up tomorrow morning and look in the mirror and say, today I'm going to work towards accomplishing something that has always feared me. Maybe it's applying for a new job. Maybe it's trying to lose weight, quit smoking, don't drink so much, work harder, Treat your employees better. Treat your boss better. Ask the girl out that you've wanted to ask out for years and you never have because you're scared. Honestly, all of that qualifies in being bold. What are you waiting for? People are going to embrace you if you'll do any of the things I just said. They're going to love you for it. You know, when I'm at church, I am so not afraid to go up to the pastor after church and say, you are making me a better Christian. If you could see the response I get from them, I just validated them. Be transparent. Be bold. One thing I know for sure is that each of us, and I'm not a religious guy, I'm just a spiritual guy, One thing I know for sure that each of us has is the God-given talent to accomplish anything we set our minds to. I don't care where you're at right now, what kind of job you have. If you think you're stuck, you're not. You get it inside of your head that you're not. You're somebody. God didn't make failures. That's a fact. Never let fear get in the way of heading toward where you want it to go. Eliminate fear. Fear does nothing. Replace fear with boldness. Man alive, I did, I do every day. I started being bold when I was in my 20s and I've never looked back in my life I wouldn't change a thing. I created a life for me that is a storybook and a fairy tale. And it's because I made a decision to. I am a nobody. I'm just a dude that made a decision at 23 years old. I want to be something. I want to do something. I want to be the best version of myself. 
I'm going to walk in a room like I own it instead of renting it. Own your life. Own your career. Be better at relationships. Treat people like they matter. Accomplish what you want to accomplish. What are you waiting for? Replace fear with boldness. If you like my message, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to this podcast so once a month you get it. I'm going to ask you to please refer this podcast to anybody you know that needs this message. Feel free to send me an email with your thoughts, van at vandeep.com. Stay in touch with me. Let's get everybody we know thinking like this. We have this ability. The more we change our own life, the more we're going to change everybody else's around us for the better. Replace fear with boldness. I'm Van Deeb, and I'm grateful you took your valuable time to spend with me. Thank you. A Huda Media Production.